Hello there, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your Leo plus Virgo love reading for the month of June. Do keep in mind time is fluid. The reading can resonate for Leo placements and Virgo placements. Some of you, the reading can resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. So please assign the roles as you wish. We are doing feelings, actions, outcome, and ending oracle. Let's get started. Spirit, please show me Leo's feelings for Virgo. And what are Virgo's feelings for Leo? Leo's feelings for Virgo and Virgo's feelings for Leo for June. Spirit, thank you. All right, let's see what's going on. We have Leo's feelings for Virgo as strength. Ten of Cups. Tower. Virgo's feelings for Leo, Queen of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. All right, Leo, you look pretty. You feel like your Virgo is like testing your patience here. It looks like, you know, when strength comes through, that is you, Leo. Um, but I do feel like you've had to have a lot of control. A lot of you feel like you have to control yourself around the Virgo. Maybe with the things that you say or ask for. I feel like you view this Virgo as pretty destructive. But with the Ten of Cups there, you have hope that somehow, some way, this Virgo will give you exactly what you're looking for in your love life. Despite how you actually feel towards them, you do have hope. Um, but you feel total opposite of that hope. You feel like you've had to go through a lot with this energy. And you feel like this energy has been pretty destructive to you. That's what it looks like. All right, Virgo's feelings for you. Queen of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This is totally contradictive. Virgo has feelings for you, but they are in a position of wanting to still sit in their independence. Whether that means still be single or not move forward in a commitment or something along those lines. But the Queen of Cups is here indicating that they have deep feelings for you. But with the Four of Swords, it looks like um, Virgo may still be in a position of healing their heart right now. That may be why they are wanting to stay in their independence. Virgo may feel like if they commit more or if they offer more, they're just going to set themselves up for heartbreak in the end. Um, but that definitely could be why you view Virgo or feel this way about Virgo. Um, because Virgo kind of just like acts... They either act single or they're making this relationship seem like it's not as committed. Nine of Pentacles is that single card, so that's the reason I'm saying it. And it is also a bit contradictive to how they actually feel about you. Um, so let's see what the actions towards each other are going to be. Spirit, show me Leo's actions towards Virgo and Virgo's actions towards Leo for June. All right, your actions are justice, four of swords, three of swords. So you are wanting this Virgo to start being a lot more fair. You feel hurt by this Virgo. I felt that already. You want this Virgo to start healing with you. You feel like this Virgo needs to make things right with you. They need to be more balanced. They need to be more reciprocative. You feel wronged by this Virgo to an extent and your actions towards them are wanting justice. Their actions towards you are the devil. Oh man. The ace of pentacles. Oh gosh. And the knight of pentacles. So this Virgo, oh my God, no wonder why y'all are feeling this way. This Virgo is, um, I feel like they, they, they are calculated. I feel a calculated energy from them. They have feelings for you, but there is a reason why they are not offering this full pentacle. But what the heck is this? Because it looks like they are offering it. But it's not tied to something that is true and loyal and reliable. It's tied to the devil energy of manipulation. So they're offering you 
something stable. They're in the way they're viewing it. They feel like, yeah, well, I'm just taking my time with commitment or I'm just taking my time with this connection. But in reality, they're a lot more calculated than they're actually letting on for whatever reason. Why? Clarify this. Leo's actions towards Virgo and Virgo's actions towards Leo. They want to plan for the future. They are not letting this go. You know, I feel like this Virgo is obsessed with you, but they would do anything in the world to make it seem like they're not. But I feel like they... It's like um, dancing with the devil. That's what I feel like. Clarify Leo's actions towards Virgo's, Virgo's actions towards Leo. How I wonder what your May one. I don't really think it was that. It may have been similar to this. Okay, let me see. Justice to the Emperor. Four of Swords, Judgment, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands. Um, oof. You're not holding back to this, Virgo. I see you standing up for yourself for how they treat you. In this month. You're like getting tired of it. You look tired of whatever this Virgo is doing. Or putting you through. Or offering to you. You're like definitely making a judgment call. Like I'm going to stand up to this energy. Because you're just tired of dealing with whatever the hell they're bringing to you. Let's see. The devil. The page of wands. The Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, exactly. The calculated energy. They're giving you an offer, but in reality, they're very closed off towards the follow-through of the offer or the building on the offer. So I see you in this connection and I see offers and I see you physically with this person, but there's a lack of like that. I can count on you or like you're my person sort of thing. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. So with the Emperor on Justice here for you, Leo, you want this Virgo to step up and grow up. Because I mean, the, the devil to the page of wands, that is like super immaturity. They're coming toward, they, I feel like you view them as being immature. Like they, I feel like this energy definitely needs to grow up here. And like, you're kind of like, you need to realize what's right in front of you and you're about to show them. I feel like you're getting, um, it's almost like you want to like jump out of your skin and say something here. Cause it's like the intimacy is there. The closeness is there. The attraction is there. And when the offers get put on the table, there's a huge lack of follow through. Yes. You're with them physically. Yes. Maybe you see them a lot or whatever the case may be, but it's like, I don't know if some of you feel like they're hiding you or some of you feel like, <sighs> let's see, can you clarify this eight of wands? It looks like you just want this Virgo to grow up and start following through more with their offers and just being more active in this connection on a level of commitment and you're my person because you know I feel like you're getting annoyed now because they should be proud to be with you and you don't feel that way you know like I have a Leo moon and I feel like if you're not proud to be with me like that makes me feel some type of way because I'm proud to be me so the fact that you're not proud of the fact that I'm next to you or I'm near you that would definitely cause that lion-hearted energy to come through so let's see why is that eight of wands here of virgo's actions towards leo i see you two conversating i see messages i see offers um they're not connected to much of a follow-through that's my problem with this virgo's energy some of you if you're a virgo this could be vice versa whatever eight of wands six of wands so they're going to give you the attention it looks like the intimacy is great the attraction is there but seven of swords, but like they're lacking in the sense of 
follow through of the stability and the reliability. So I see you stepping up to this energy and um, standing up for yourself and what you believe in and what you're looking for in love. I'm going to let you know right now, this Virgo may say a lot of what you want to hear. Look for a follow through with this energy, not just the chit chat. Actions speak louder than words. So let's see what the outcome is between you and this person. This is for my... Leo's dealing with a Virgo. Outcome, three of swords. So this energy is just like very hurtful to you. Very, very hurtful to you. Obvious, I mean, that we've been saying it the whole time. So the outcome of June is the Three of Swords and the Lovers. So I feel like there is a very... I feel like you're going to step up to this energy. Why is the Lovers here? Four of Pentacles. And they're just not going to let your ass go. So you're going to act off of this hurt. And this energy will do or say anything for you not to leave them. But the consistency is extremely lacking. But they are holding on to this connection for dear life. Despite the pain that was caused. Why is the four of pentacles here? As the outcome between Leo and Virgo. Ten of Wands. But is it worth the burden it brings you? That's the question. Yeah, they're going to do and say all that you've wanted to hear. But is it worth it, basically? Is your, is your mental health worth it? Because it looks like it is not feeling that great. I don't like that they have the four of pentacles on their end. And I don't like that it's in the outcome because then that's showing me that they're not changing their ways, but they'll say whatever they they'll say to save this. Hmm. 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 All right. In terms of signs that came out, maybe they're in your chart. Maybe they're in their chart. You have Aries, Libra, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. So let's see what advice. What advice do we have here for Leos dealing with a Virgo? Virgo, if you're here, you can take the advice too. You have this card. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Ew. All right, and you also have this card. And it says, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. Yeah, and that's probably what this Virgo cannot um, shake. Just the way you're, like I said, the passion and the attraction seems fine. But that's not going to create a relationship. That's not going to create a bond. It can help a bond strengthen, but it won't help it. Like it needs more than that, just that element to build. You know, it needs, needs more than just wands. It needs cups. It needs earth. It needs the um, air energy. It needs the clarity. So let's see what you have here in the relationship oracle for Leo's dealing with a Virgo. Duality, card 18. Yeah, you may feel like you're very different from this energy. The frequency of duality supports our ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites. So yeah, you and this person definitely very different from each other. And you have intuition, card 27. The energy of intuition supports our ability to conceive the subtle language of the realms beyond the three-dimensional reality. So use your intuition while dealing with this energy. Honestly, 
Some of you Leos are standing up to this Virgo and cutting them off and putting down the burden of this connection. You feel like they're stubborn, calculated, and you're just done trying to use a tool and hammer to get this person to break their walls down. Others of you, you may give this person a reconciling chance. They're definitely going to try to say whatever. But like I said, I feel like it's just saying whatever and the way I'm looking at it. Or the way I'm feeling it. So that's what I have here for you, my beautiful Leos. And I um, will talk to you very soon. If you resonated with this reading, do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell. So you are alerted when a new reading is released. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.